Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Slip Joint Sawyer. Today we're going to be taking a look at another knife from Victorinox. And this is a size and pattern I've never had before, so I'm quite excited to try it out. I received this yesterday, I've been giving it a, a couple of goes here and there, but no real testing yet, but that will follow. Um, before we jump into that though, just going to have a quick look around the box. You can see you have the Victorinox shield and text just here. Victorinox since 1884, the original Swiss army knife. Made in Switzerland and their address and the EU contact details and the barcode on the back. Plain this end and you can see we're looking at model number 0 0.8463 and this is the Trailmaster in the red handles. So we'll just open the box and let's take a look what you get inside. So apart from the knife you do get this little bit of paperwork in here. Pretty standard for all Victorinox knives. You get the standard how you would use the tin opener. Um, what the combi tool is for, a couple different languages, and on the back there, the care instructions. You know, if the knife gets, you know, if it gets dirty or the, the action's not great, it tells you how to unstick the blades. And a little bit more information here about the locking blade on this knife, as this is unfortunately not UK legal, but it does have a locking blade on there. So I'll just pop that to the side and grab the knife. So this is what we're looking at today. This is the 111 millimeter Trailmaster in the the red scales. There, you can see we're looking at a closed length. Obviously, it's 111 millimeters, but in sort of you know inches, we've got one, two, three, four, pretty much about four and a half inches closed length. You do have that unique sort of finger groove or sort of ergonomic handle here. You have the Victorinox logo there, and you do have this sort of textured grippy scales. Very different tech, uh, very different sort of material to the normal Celador, but it does give them a bit more, bit more durable, hard wearing for outdoors. It's a bit more flexible, really nice and grippy as well. So you can see we have the the normal fantastic quality and fit and finish you would expect from Victorinox, and on the back again you have the same red scales. So we'll take a look at the tools together. So you do get the the normal standard tweezers and toothpick that you'd get on most Victorinox models. As well as that you get the keyring that's mounted on this very nice secure like tab inside the knife. And then on this trail master you get the Phillips screwdriver instead of the corkscrew. And you also get the punch, reamer, owl, awl however you want to say it. No sewing eye on this one though, just mainly a punch. And then you do get a, a back spacer there instead of the parcel hook. So on the front of the knife, we're looking at the sort of the tin opener with the small flathead screwdriver. Really sort of ergonomic and comfortable on the hand. I do, I do really like the ergonomics of this. Even though you do have the blade in the middle here, the stock's thick enough that you, it doesn't dig in, you don't feel it. One of the things I will say though is because it's such a big handle, these tools do look very small on it. I believe they're the same size as the standard 91mm. But there's no lock on this one at all, just the normal sort of slip joint method, no half stop. And just the standard sort of pull you'd expect from Victorinox. We have the combo tool here. Which of course is the wire stripper, the ca the, the cap lifter, and the larger flathead screwdriver that has a half stop and it does lock as well. You can see you have this tab here which says press, and you would just push that across there to release the tool. Again, when this is sort of locked up, there's no hot spots really when you cat when you're trying to use it. It's comfortable enough, but if you think it's a cap lifter, you're not going to be using it for a long period of time or a screwdriver. You're going to be using like this, like a screwdriver and a cap lifter. You're going to take, what, one bottle cap off. So the ergonomics of that sort of thing aren't really a big issue for me. But you just press that in and then you would just go into the half stop and then a nice snap on the close as well. We also have a very nice sized saw blade on the back here. And you can see it does have that sort of almost like upswept. And I wasn't really sure why they were doing that. But when I sort of went to sort of try it out, it is really sort of comfortable. You can put your thumb down this little ramp or, you know, you can do the pinch grip and saw away. And it's a really great tool. You can see how sharp the blades are. 
Uh, just the only thing I would sort of nitpick about this is why the main blade locks, but the saw blade doesn't. I'm wondering if that's anything to do with how they built it. But I would have thought, you know, having a saw this long and you're going to be, you know, back and forth in wood. And if it jams, you don't want it to like close on you or whatever. But, you know, it's a strong enough spring that I feel like it might, you know, it'd be safe enough to use. But you do get a very decent sized saw on there. Uh, we're looking at a full length. Let's turn it over so it's a bit easier. Uh, full length of one, two, three, three and a half inch saw on there. So a very decent sized one you can definitely get through. Reasonable sized sticks, maybe smaller logs if you're building a shelter. Um, but yeah, I think it'd be really great for an outdoor survival tool. One I'll definitely be putting to the test whenever I get a chance to go out camping. Weather's a bit awful here at the moment, but as soon as it clears up, I'll go out and do a bit of bushcrafting. And I like to do that in my free time. Don't intendly video that. Maybe I will do a video on in the future, but just like to go out and put some knives to the test and see how they sort of work in that environment. And nice snap on the clothes as well. And one of the things I do like how Victoria Rocks do their saws. See, they have this little flat area at the end with no teeth, and that sits really nicely on this end here. And it does overhang enough so you can get your nail behind it and open it without having to touch the blade. And then finally, the last tool on this one we're looking at is the main blade. And it does have a half stop, which is a little over 90 degrees, say about 100 degrees, give or take. You do have that sort of semi-mirror polished finish with that sort of tumbled effect. You can really see like the little dings and stuff there where it's been tumbled. You do have the Victoria Knox Swiss made stainless tang stamp there. And then it's just plain on the rear. And this does have a lock as well. You can hear that snap on the open. And it's this really long, nice spear blade. One that is very comfortable. You can you can do a, like, a grip back here. Or my favourite is I like to choke up on this flat area here. I have my finger the other side of this lock. And then you don't get any hot spots at all. It's really comfortable. And this would be an ideal knife. Um, bushcrafting, doing food prep if you, you know, you're camping. The blade locks up so I wouldn't feel wary about handing it to someone who's not a knife person or someone who's not familiar with slip joints there's no way this is going to close on them the lockup is very secure on there you can see it's right the way across and there's no chance it would break open the classic victorian ox edge edge on there absolutely perfect uniform all the way along on the front and the rear of the knife you can see that just there you can see my stupid face as well Nice clean nail lick, no swedging, nothing fancy about the blade, just a nice working blade and a really decent sort of blade stock there as well. So for the length, we're looking at an overall blade length of pretty similar to the saw. One, two, three and a half, maybe just over with a cutting edge of one, two, three and just under three and a quarter inches. A really wonderful knife and one I wish I'd picked up sooner. As I said, this is my first 111 millimeter frame Swiss Army knife from Victorinox, and one I'll definitely be looking to get more of. Quite interested in getting the one with the, you know, the thumb hole or like the spider coke sort of style hole for one hand opening. But for the first one, I wanted to go for the classic two hand pinch opening. Whereas there's enough of the blade showing on this that you don't actually need to use the nail nick. You can see you've got, you can get the grip on the nick that side and then there's enough that side to grip onto and that's how I sort of open it, just like that. So there we go guys, that's my sort of review or overview of the Victorinox Trailmaster in the red handles. I'll give you that model number again, it's 0 0.8463. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace out.